The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuck. Sticking alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he loves penises and hates women who like vaginas. Please welcome Mr. J.P. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, he is back after his first week of baseball. Uh, please welcome back the only two-time winner of the Wichita's Funniest Person, and we all keep still making fun of him. Please welcome back Mr. Tarek Alders. I'm laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> all the way. Uh, I, I just recently heard that Wheel of Fortune is also coming into town, so yeah, maybe dude. it's a good opportunity for Derek to win twice at that, too. I'm a two-time and son of a bitch. <laughs> that I am. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Oh, uh, but welcome that's in. why I got two wives. <laughs> oh, who's the second one? We haven't met her yet. Your goddamn business. Oh, okay, man, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, it's JP, isn't it? No. No. Oh. He right. couldn't land me. <laughs> it's uh, Kate Upton. Fair. Okay. Kate Upton. Fair. All right, sure. Uh, but anyways, welcome into another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If this is the first time you've ever listened to one of these episodes, this is a comedy podcast. We like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult podcast. We like to use foul language and offend people who have thin skin. So if you're one of those fuckers, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. We got a great episode. I think we should stop cussing on the show. Are you do you really? Yeah, I agree. Let's make it family friendly. Let's make it family friendly. Yeah, man. We get a whole lot lot more more listeners. listeners. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I'm sick of doing this for like 12 people, man. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Oh man. You know what? The realistic part of it is, yes, we would. The bad thing is, is we would be totally different people, and we would hate each other. It would be horrible. It would be terrible. Disney might pick us up if we if we're clean. Oh yeah, right. All the in a day, one little research, twenty <laughs> episodes right. back, and they're fucking out. Absolutely, just don't say gay. Yeah. Right, right, or uh, or say it a lot. Oh yeah, they like that yeah. now. Oh, okay, dude, we gotta we get gotta Disney. get yeah, we gotta get Disney. all right. Okay, yeah. cool. Ah, uh, anyways, uh, JP is gonna suck Scotty off live on the show. <laughs> They're going to have a new fucking area for that at Disney World. Well, I mean, they probably should. I mean, they should, right? Yeah. I mean, sweet. Anyway, uh, but we've got a great episode for you today. we got some headlines. Uh, what's in the news? We've got Never Have I Ever, That's Where I Draw the Line, Questions and Preguntas, a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. But we're going to talk about what happened to us over the last week. And as we always like to start off with the most anticlimactic person in the world, except for when he's oh, yeah. masturbating, Mr. J.P. I remember like it was yesterday. <laughs> I smoked pot. I smoked pot. Played video played games. Played video games. And bold. And bold. Uh, you had to. Okay, no. Actually, actually, how was the trip over here? Were there anybody? Good, with, dude. Not even anyone in front of me. Nobody Nobody, nobody on the roads. Nobody stopped in the middle of the fucking street. God, driving is just like your sex life. Nobody in front of you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Amen, the brother. Pre- Amen. <laughs> they're all behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. The fucking pre- ramming me like a diesel <laughs> into a smart car. No. I only date guys named Dodge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. God damn right. Uh, but not the previous weeks. Previous weeks, there's always an asshole yeah, that's in man. JP's way. Like three weeks in a row, there was just some dick stopped in the middle of the road for no reason. Well, well that it sounds like a wish that you've made that's been granted. Yeah. Just drive yeah. it along. Ooh, <clears throat> dick. I wish one more would fucking stop in the middle of the road, dude. I'm just going to stop and get out next time and ask him what the fuck his problem is. That was actually a question that we decided not to use this week, and I can't remember who it was. I'm sorry, but um, We did that last week. Well, they just got a one in 12 shot. Just name a name. (laughs) Right. That's what I was just getting ready to say. No, there's some new people on this week. Uh, But anyways, uh, the question was, what would it take for you to have to actually get out of your car? So that's what we did last week. Oh, Uh, no. Last week. Remember, we did 
have you ever have got you out ever, of your car, right? right? This is what would it what take? What would it take for you? Just for you. That Somebody was stopping in the middle of the fucking road one more goddamn time <laughs> in a seven block fucking period. Like, I only got to go seven blocks. Can I just get there without somebody in the middle of the road? Yeah, you can borrow my gun. Okay, cool. Deal. <laughs> Deal. Deal, dude. <laughs> okay, fine. You're going to regret that. <laughs> no shit. It's, yeah. Scotty's going to jail. <laughs> Why? He killed JP's ex. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. I didn't even know they knew each other. Right. Uh, so have you finished your uh, Starburst show on Apple? Sugar. Okay, whatever. I have it. I'm okay. waiting for it to finish now. Okay. Because, I, well, that's what I was asking. How uh, yeah. many shows are left? I don't know. I think two, maybe. Two? Left to come out. Okay, yeah. And then... Uh, Completely understand. I'm yeah, insane. well, I watched the first three and i figured like three's not that many i'll wait yeah yeah that's like, like if i'd watched four or five and then it would have done that i probably would have just kept watching okay. every week but now i'm just waiting for it to fucking yeah. finish did you do anything else at all it was mother's day did you go see <sighs> yeah. your mom uh no my mom was out of town okay but uh i did call and wish her happy mother's day and you. uh congratulate her on having such a fucking cool son <laughs> Uh, oh, she, you got a yeah, brother? brother? <laughs> nope. Sure don't. Uh, uh, she adopt? Nope. You got, nope. A, you got a sister that transitioned? Two, well, probably. <laughs> <laughs> She's kind of stuck in the middle somewhere. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, uh, but yeah, I uh, didn't do anything. Nothing? Those are the best. <sighs> it's every day for me. Man. I know, but it's the best. It is kind of. It's kinda. so good. Kind of. Uh, I we, wish I could do that. We were talking just a second ago about gay Disney. What mm -hmm. rides do you think would be at the gay Disney area? <laughs> JP would be a ride. Oh, for sure. Uh, <laughs> Glory Hole Mountain. <laughs> Glory Hole Mountain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got to fucking get all the way to the top. And then there's, what if it was just like whack-a-mole uh, with penis? At the end, that too. That too. But there's no wow, mallet. Called, you're like. Uh, well, uh, here's the thing. It's shit, it's, shit. it's different. It's whack-a-hole. Whack-a-hole. Oh, okay. The mallet is the penis. You're the mallet. And when the hole opens up, when it gapes, <laughs> it, then it, you know, it gapes open and then you just, Shove, shove it, it in there, in there. Oh, yeah that's good for the kids the good yeah. thing about the gay area disney is it increases the property value of Tomorrowland. it really does <laughs> yeah. because i'll yeah. tell you what those guys were in big trouble before we moved in oh absolutely <laughs> yeah they were going down to the dumps yeah oh shit uh plus they're all letting us suck them on the dl oh yeah so Okay, what's the DL? They don't down low. Oh, I thought it was some other kind of like place in Disney. And Disney what, Lips. Oh, okay. Disney there. Lips. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Disney Lips. A hundred percent. Sometime this week, I call someone Disney Lips. <laughs> <laughs> hey, check out the check out the guy over at thirty. Yeah. Disney Lips. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, I guarantee I use that. Uh, okay. Well, to, uh, to, I, I, I have, I've only made one design JP, but last week's episode, we, we, we just thought we should probably make a t-shirt mm -hmm. and I have one design and I kind of like it. Um, but, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, Derek, you don't get tickets very often, do you? Tickets. What do you mean? You like, uh, you know, tickets from cops. No, that uh, makes sense. Yeah. Um, cause we came up with the conclusion that cops don't ticket tards. And so we have a shirt, and, and I have, like, over the C of cops has a policeman's hat, and over the S on tards has a helmet. Yes. <laughs> right. And so, See? And so we're I'm getting like, there. We're getting there. The reason yeah. they probably don't is they don't drive, Scotty. <laughs> well, some of them do. <clears throat> some of them do. They yeah. might jaywalk. But, <laughs> well, I mean, how, how unsafe is that if you're already Some of them helmet? drive because yeah. I saw some of their cars out front. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, anyways. Or they stopped in the middle of the road. <laughs> His car. Yeah, it was Derek's. I'm surprised you didn't park in the driveway, man. I got here before Scotty did. He, uh -oh. he Somebody was did. like, be here at the recording at 6.15. <laughs> and I get here at like 6.10 and he's not even home. Yeah. Nice. No, yeah. Uh, no, asshole boss made me stay late. Fucker. Um, anyways, that, so that was your week? Yep, that uh, was pretty much all it. Right. I'll, I'll go ahead and go because mine's kind of anticlimactic too. Um, I did get to go golfing on Sunday, which was my mother's day i didn't even call my mother on mother's day because we celebrated it on saturday at her favorite place twin peaks oh. uh so that was a hell of a lot of fun what I a terrible <laughs> son you are no kidding dude, you didn't for call real. her and you took her to a fucking a <laughs> restaurant <laughs> yeah 
sure did. I didn't do it. This was not my idea. That was where what either she or my stepfather decided. Stepfather. Probably, 100%. It's like, I didn't call my mom <laughs> because I took her to a strip club while I raw-dogged a hooker. That is, <laughs> so she knows I love her. Yeah, yeah. She also knows I, I, I absolutely hate these holidays. Valentine's Day, Father's Day, Mother's Day, uh, St. Patrick's Day. Give me another stupid one. Pride Month, you know, all of that shit. I knew that I, was coming. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. I think they're all so stupid. Yeah. Uh, just just be a good person all year round. Uh, and and then you get you get random flowers and you give them to your mom. She appreciates those much more. When's the last time you got your mom random flowers? Probably 10, 15 years ago. Right. Yeah. Yeah, dude. So See, go. I got, I got so your So go mom fuck flowers. yourself with your fucking little fl- fissile f- f- fucking speech. Keep your fucking speech. I give them to my wife all the time. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right. Because right, you mom. have to. Yeah. Never yeah. mind. No. <laughs> I got your mom flowers, so yeah. <laughs> Fucking forget it. I got her flowers, sorry. too. I you picked guys, them out of guys, her garden on the way home. You guys just go ahead. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm sorry. Really, I guess we didn't need you here after all. <laughs> Not really. No, no, we wanted him here. Yeah, keep laughing, assholes. No. I'm out. Um, so, yeah, I I had the, I played horribly at golfing. I think that was karma making it, uh, you know, telling me to eat shit because I didn't call my mom on Mother's Day. Uh, but the main reason why I didn't do anything on Mother's Day is because we had plans uh, w- months in advance to go to the emo orchestra again. And uh, this time it was not a band I'd ever seen or heard of before. Last last time it was uh, Hawthorne Heights, who I was a huge fan of. Uh, this band was called Escape the Fate. Never heard of them before in my life. But it was it's so awesome because it's got a big-ass orchestra and they're playing emo hits from like the early 2000s. That's my shit. Did Sevix open for them? No. Oh, no. Damn. No. They, they, no. <laughs> they're on tour with Jeremy Joseph right now. Oh. Uh, they're with Guns and Moses. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Never mind. I was going to say another one, but I'm I'm not funny enough for that. Nope. Uh, nope. Um, <laughs> well, good good on you for realizing. <laughs> I know. It. I, I caught mean, it's myself. It's about time and stopped. Good on you. <laughs> good on you. <ya. laughs> yeah. I got an Australian uh, Facebook request, a couple of them. Did you? Yeah, Good. I accepted them, of course. They're of Australian course. dudes. Absolutely. Why wouldn't you? Even if they're ugly, their accent makes them hot enough to blow. Did one look exactly like Derek? No. Okay, because that his name is Daniel Delaney, and he is the Australian yeah. version of Derek. Derek. Even uh, has the same goatee thing. Nice. That's, oh, yeah, it's That's great. the one not hot enough to blow. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't do it. Oh, yeah. uh, man. He'd be like, look me in the eyes. I'd be like, no. No. (laughs) Don't worry. My belly will cover him up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the emo orchestra was awesome. Uh, I got into a huge fight with my wife on the way home. Oh, no. uh, but, well, uh, let me let me let me hear me out. What'd you so, do? What I do? Yeah. I did. I didn't do anything. You did. I hold on. <laughs> let me get there. I uh, I have made the decision over the last like four or five concerts that I've been to. I am not drinking at a concert or a, a comedy performance. I just don't want to, for multiple reasons. But the number one is I do not want to forget the performance, especially if I like it and stuff like that so i just don't anymore however after a i go to a concert i really want to go out and have a beverage that's just something that i want to do and my wife really didn't want to and she was driving and so i she snapped at me whenever she's like no we're not going i'm like okay so we drove home she gets out of the car and goes up to the door. I already had my keys to my truck. Oh, you're and such a prick, Immediately got dude. into my truck and made my way down to um, Mort's. I and thought you were going to say Twin Peaks with your mom. <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> oh. right. I called my mom. And we, we went to Twin Peaks. We immediately had a naughty brunette. And uh, the, the – yeah, uh, drop dead redhead. Um, but no, uh, the text messages ensued thereafter, and uh, but it wasn't as bad as it made it sound. It's just I don't like being told that I can't do something, and neither does she, and so it wasn't that big of a deal. But I uh, came home after one and went to bed, and that was that. So there was that. Uh, but while you're going to the Australian, sorry, what? You're a dick, dude. <laughs> I, dude. I would leave you so fast. <laughs> like it wouldn't even fucking. It's been, t- it's almost been 10 years. I, We're coming up on 10. Dude. And remember, we talked September. about this. I that's, don't know. That's the line. Yeah. I know. I keep that's... seeing all the hash marks on Elena's like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scratched into yeah. the fucking wall. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. And then the other thing, since you were talking about Australian people, I got hooked on a show and finished it and it's called opal hunters have you ever seen it 
Dude, I didn't realize this, but like all of the opal in the fucking world, like 98% of it is in Australia. Yeah. And it's out in the middle of Australia where it gets to like 120 fucking degrees. So their houses are underground. And does the opal like see people coming and run away? Yeah. It was every once in a while. Yeah. Because I'm not sure why you'd have to hunt it. <laughs> I mean, look they, for it. Maybe they should call it looking for opals. They're, they're or something, but opal hunters. They're sneaky every, little bastards. Seems like the opals would fucking try to fucking not get caught. Everything's hunters now, though. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, dude. But dude. That's the dumbest shit hunters, I ever heard. Yeah. Well, that's fine. You're hunting Bigfoot. You're hunting a, a thing that doesn't exist. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yeah. But if it did exist, it would run from you. The morel mushrooms, mushroom hunting. Yeah. No, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's also a form of munting. Yeah. Munting. munting. Yeah. Mushroom hunting. Yeah. Munting. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, uh, but no, it, I, I fucking got hooked. I didn't even know idea. That's like my birthstone. I didn't even know. Oh. It, I didn't even know you had stones for your birthday. Yeah. What so, if, what I had if, stones in my gall once. Mm, nice. What if you had a buddy that just, that's what he called mushroom hunting and never knew what munting, munting was? <laughs> Dude, you want to go And he calls munting? you up and he's like, hey, yeah. you want to go munting? And you're like, mm-hmm. fuck it, it's a Tuesday. Yeah, you <laughs> and know. And so you, go and you, got, you got your shovel and he's like, I don't know why you need a shovel that big. We're just going <laughs> munting. And I was like, what are you looking for freshies or what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, you got to put the work you in. You got to put the work in if you're going to fucking do it. Uh, and uh, I guess the last thing was once I finished Opal Hunters, I got into Gold Rush, which is the American version where they hunt gold. So the, why are these people hunting inanimate objects? <laughs> well, it's, it's easier, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, like, like real hunting is just too hard. We're gonna hunt something that doesn't move. Opal Hunters was cool because they just it wasn't <laughs> no. that hard. It was just really no. it was just really bad like conditions, but. Gold Rush, if you want to be fucking depressed the entire episode and then see how much gold they get at the end, holy fuck, every episode is the exact same. Some half a million dollar piece of machinery breaks, breaks yeah. and it and it costs like a hundred grand like, to It's fix. almost like it's scripted. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, but yeah, it, I, I yeah. like the NFL. <laughs> right, of course. Uh, but other than that, man, that was, uh, that was my week. So, Derek, you had your first week back. Uh, has the jet lag? Uh, finally caught up on a normal sleep schedule. There you go. Good I thing. like to. I don't like to wake up. So when I'm waking up an hour early for no reason, I really get pissed off. <laughs> yeah. That's so uh, yeah, that's now awesome. I'm back to fucking waking up 20 minutes late, like I like to Very do. Very well. <laughs> yes. Go to work. Fucking my eyes are as red as JP's are because I'm still tired. Um, Me yeah, too. I'm tired my, a lot. That, yeah, he's a lot tired. <laughs> I'm a lot tired. So and then uh, baseball was this week. So I had or this past week. So I had games pretty much all week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Speaking of baseball, man, the ESPN radio guy. Mm-hmm. Tim. What, dude? That's Tim. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Dude, if he says now one more fucking time on the radio. Does he say try now? He likes to say that. No, he, he goes right like when this. I walk in. He goes like this. He goes, now two to one count. Uh, now he steps up to the plate now. Oh, and now the, here comes the pitch it. now. I don't listen and, to Dude, no. he says it like every third or fourth word is now. And it's the whole way. And I don't know if I'm just really high when I was probably because I've never noticed it. When are you not really high? (laughs) Right. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. But yeah, dude, I really I didn't know that was Tim. I didn't know that's thirty one years in my my, or or longer in my dude. I was like I was laughing so hard i had a tear like yep, yep you were high yeah you okay. were baked yeah. you baked off your ass Plus well you, i was driving so. <laughs> so you were baked off your ass yeah you're probably right yeah it turns anyway. out i went by driving i just meant i was at a stop sign for two and a half hours but <laughs> i've done that too uh, <laughs> but yeah man i listened to some of the games he uh it's it's the radio silence though, so you got to figure out something to say. Oh so right, I can right. See why he says now, because like if you just had radio silence, like it's uncomfortable. Like watch, it. <laughs> <laughs> shut the fuck up. Sorry, I can't do it. <laughs> that that's the worst. Is is radio silence or dead air is the by far the worst. Yeah, mm. it takes like sounds like it's forever. It might be five seconds. 
See, that's fucking weird. <laughs> See? I like, See? I started Somebody would just like, did my I fucking radio it, cut out? Yeah. I liked it. I started yeah. to get hard. Oh, yeah, well. It's because I shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's true. Okay. Uh, but anyways, uh, but what else has been going on? My in-laws were in town this weekend. Oh, cool. Uh, awesome. So thankfully I had baseball. <laughs> 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 Gotta go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but I thought, I, so thought you were, I thought you didn't have a game today. Well, they changed their mind. <laughs> 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 Turns out I'm calling the League 42 game. Yeah. Uh, Scotty uh, stole a statue, so now I've got a, now I've got to call a bunch of games to make up for it. Didn't didn't they did they put it back or did they put I know they put something in the oh, they place. found yeah they, they're getting another one. I know they another found one. it. Okay, they, they, they found are it. getting another one. Yeah, okay. it was beaten and burned. I, yeah, I knew yeah. that. Uh, yeah, they found it in your backyard. Um, <laughs> yeah, they did. Fucking asshole. <laughs> uh, so everything with the feet <laughs> for whatever yeah, reason. Jesus That's Christ. his mo. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Right, yeah. the foot bandit. Yeah, <laughs> the foot it's his hunter. calling card. He's the, the foot, foot hunter. hunter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just leaves the feet. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Thanks, guys. Anyways, dude, we gotta go steal a statue from downtown <laughs> and just cut it off at the ankles. What's this wee shit? <laughs> well, I'm gonna need help, man. I'm gonna need help. No, no, <laughs> I'm out, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I, they people already think I'm racist because I sit next to Scotty. In the show. <laughs> oh fuck. So. Oh, we'll steal one of the white people's statues. <laughs> okay. Uh, fair. Just fucking turn, you know, yeah. fair play. Yeah. yeah. yeah then they like, fuck they... up theirs. We fuck up Mars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. They're like, they found it in pristine condition. <laughs> yeah. they, actually, <laughs> they actually polished it. Yeah, they actually cleaned it and then yeah. put, it <laughs> put it back. Put it back. <laughs> you can't even see the seam where they welded it back together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so terrible. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and then I've been playing the living fuck out of Ghosts of Tsushima. Yeah, like, dude, nonstop. Like I cannot wait for the shit to be over so I can go home and play. Is it good? I love it. Oh yeah, I absolutely love it. And I you know, think I'm like halfway through it. You know, they're coming out with a second one already. I did not know that. They but cool. are. Yeah, they are coming out with an, another one. I am waiting for them to drop that shit. So yeah. So I've watched a little bit of the NBA playoffs the last couple of days. I've yeah. watched the Thunder games. The end of those. I, of them, but. I, I know that Travis is probably really excited, but I I can't watch NBA anymore. I, yeah. just, I can't do it. They tied it's it out. two games two games piece now. So cool. cool. Uh, anything else at all? No, man. Just busy with when I got baseball going on. I don't have time to do fucking. That's nothing. true. Yeah, I know, and and I understand that. Obviously, that's that's uh, it's cool that you can actually come on the on the show even whenever baseball season. So I appreciate that. I really yeah, do. No worries. Uh, but yeah, let's get to th- shut up. That's not what he was saying last week. Yeah, You're he's fucking like, dick. I bet Derek doesn't get a ticket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did I say that? He said something. You like just that. did just oh, now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, anyways, uh, now we get to move on to headlines. Uh, I got a couple, uh, but uh, JP or Derek, if you have any that I left out, you're more than uh, welcome to. By the way, I imagine you guys talked about the Tom Brady rails last week. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, you know what? You weren't here, and that's like your favorite thing are roasts. What did you think? Um, Tom Segura sucked. Him and, him and <laughs> him Bert Kreischer. What were fucking, they doing? I don't know. That was if, awful. I don't know if they were trying to bomb on purpose. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Um, that was atrocious. Was. I love Tom Segura and Burt Kreischer, and I agree. It was awful. It was not good. Um, no. Nikki Glazer's a bad bitch. Dude, she had the best she set. She was amazing. The end. Mm-hmm. She was fucking incredible. Yeah. Her, Andrew Schultz, Tony Hinchcliffe was good. Yeah. I love Tony, baby. The one thing I was surprised that I didn't hear a lot about, because a lot of it was like, oh, you're such a fag and all that. I'm surprised I didn't hear a bunch right. of backlash about that. I was waiting for the whole sun thing. Totally. Nobody waiting. did it. Nope. nope. I was shocked. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. So I was like, cool. I would have done it. <laughs> His son, I mean. <laughs> oh, I meant I meant like them talking back and forth, like because they were making a bunch of jokes. So I thought about being gay and draining balls, and yeah, I thought for sure there was going to be like, oh well, look at this homophobic roast and all. You were going to read a bunch of. Sh- I didn't even read anything like that, and no. that's great. That's so, the way it should be. So I was surprised with that, but uh, the roast in general was too fucking long. Granted, I, it was it's edited awfully down. Long. Yeah. They edited it down, but it's still so they left. They left uh, at least when I watched it because I watched the full thing this weekend. They left the part where Tom Brady goes up to Jeff Ross. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They left that Cut in that there. shit out. Cut yeah. that shit yeah. out. Yeah. It's still there. So yeah. how much did they edit? <laughs> I mean. Well, originally it was like almost three hours long. Okay. So I don't know what it is on I think Netflix. It was two, two and a half. Two and a half yeah. or a little over. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They didn't cut much. They didn't. Yeah. But it was. I, I enjoyed it. I think uh, it. Yeah. Julian Edelman was the only funny athlete. He was. Uh, fair enough. I thought he did yeah. well. 
Uh, Gronk uh, really is retarded. Dude, uh, <laughs> Bledsoe so, fucking so, killed it. Dude, I thought, I thought Bledsoe was good. I thought he was good. real good. I did, too. Yeah. I, I He's thought, an athlete, by the way. He is, or was. Man. Not anymore. Yeah. I cannot do Kevin Hart. I, yeah. I, he, I, don't, I didn't enjoy him. I, I wanted to. I really did. I just... He's a great I, laugher. At he's least. a great laugher. Yeah, but as a no, uh, <laughs> not as a host. Um, and then Jeff Ross is always amazing. Yeah, and Jeff then, Ross. Is uh, good. The fucking chick, the lesbian chick. Oh, uh, uh, the yeah. The fucking line she told had with Drew Bledsoe something about J. his Super Bowl. Yes, yeah, Sam J. Sam or something, J. Yeah, said that his uh, Super Bowl really ring. It's just like her strap on. Just because she puts it on, don't mean it's real. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, dude. fuck. Yeah, she had a couple different ones. Yeah, that were real good. I liked she her was too. great. She was yeah. good too. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that was good. Ho- ho- if you guys haven't already watched it, please go and watch it. It's really fucking good. Uh, fast forward through um, the Kardashian. Uh, that was bad. That was bad. I too. felt bad for them booing the living. It wasn't as bad as it could have been. I, I thought it was think. terrible. Yeah, of I course fast- you did. I did. Her and Gronk. They are they're meant for each other, I think, actually. No. No? Okay. That was worth it. You the, leave Gronk alone. Worth a shot. Uh her and Kanye are perfect together. Okay, good. Oh, uh, one Tony <laughs> Inch said something about she didn't want to be here because she had to leave her kids with their dad or some yeah. shit. And I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, God, yeah. She's dance. ready. She wanted to go first so she could get out of here <laughs> because she had to leave her kids with her dad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Cliff is fucking badass. Oh, at that shit. man. Uh, all right. Moving on. We're going to get to the actual current headlines. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw this, but did you see? Because it, it, there's new shit that comes out about it every fucking week. But did you see there is a VIP pass for the Tyson and and, and Jake Paul fight? No. It cost $2 million. That's probably why I didn't see anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think we need to band together all of Derek's money, and then we and you can go, JP. Yeah, dude. We could be his plus one. <laughs> exactly. Dude, I, can, I can get that in yen. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, but this fucking VIP pass for $2 million includes two unique ringside apron seats. I don't know why they're unique, but apparently they're uh, ringside apron seats. Uh, a security escort. Can you imagine us walking in with a security escort? Uh, like, who what are, are you these talking fucking about? guys? You go to events without a security escort? N- no, I don't. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. Uh, weird. <laughs> So there's that. Yeah. Uh, you get a pre-fight photo with both <clears throat> fighters, which that would be. Can I just get two weird. with Tyson? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all right. I, Can I trade this I one? I couldn't care less about getting a photo with Jake Paul. <laughs> That's what I would ask. I'm like, can I just get two with him? Or not? <laughs> yeah, not with him. Yeah, like maybe one with a thumbs up and like one serious. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then you get a place on stage during the weigh-ins, and it doesn't really describe where that place is. <laughs> so watch that person get fucked. What if it's at the heart attack? grill and they got to stand on that scale out front (laughs) see if they eat for free right there's that and then last but not least there is a post fight in ring photo which i think would kind of even mean i mean it's after the fight and i'm guessing it's with whoever wins it doesn't say that it It just says photo it it just says it's probably (laughs) just you standing in the middle of the ring going yeah like this (laughs) yeah yeah yeah, exactly right next to sketch um, but yeah, and then it says, and yeah, what's up, brother? What's up, brother? This right here. Yeah. What's up, brother? <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's that. I, uh, whoever gets that is just, and they get like signed stuff too, which, uh, I don't know. Tyson's autograph is pretty inexpensive. I have, so I know somebody I know. that's got a couple. Yeah, yeah exactly. Did we did we draft any? Oh yeah, we did. No, draft. you did golf clubs and stuff. <laughs> no, you did the video you did the game. gloves. I did the or video the game. game. I did yeah. the, Somebody I did the video game. I got a new one this weekend too. I got Pippin. Oh, no, oh ooh, nice. nice, good for you. Um, but anyways, moving on. Uh, next thing, <laughs> Pippin Crosby. He's from across the pond. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not Scotty. JP will blow him. <laughs> yeah, if you know what I mean. Uh, we're <laughs> we're gonna move That's on. That's my new way of describing Australian people. Okay, yeah, yeah. fair. JP will blow him if you know what I mean. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we're going to move on to baseball. Jordan Montgomery, a pitcher for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw this. This was fucking great. He shorts hop home plate with a curveball, uh, and the baseball bounces and hits the umpire directly in the nuts. Ironically, Javi Baez struck out on that pitch. <laughs> 
I'm uh, sure that was a funny joke. If you know baseball, it was great. I know. Uh, but no, the, I don't know. I mean, obviously, you got to be wearing a cup if you're an umpire. You have to. Whoa. But that cup doesn't do a whole hell of a lot. Well, it would do it, it's more than it, more than not, not having, having one. one. I agree, but that still, I mean, the dude just like rolls over and is obviously in so much fucking pain. But I can't get enough of baseball nut shots. Well, that's my favorite thing to watch. I do know that Derek Lewis wears a cup. Oh, does he? Yeah. Did <laughs> oh. you not see that? No. After his fight, he took his shorts off. Oh, yes. Of laid course on I his saw back, it. took the cup off, and then threw his cup into the crowd. <laughs> In oh. Wichita, Kansas, actually. That's was it here? It what? was here. Shut the fuck yes, up. Yes, it was here. I could have been there. You could have been there, but you were <laughs> not. Oh, what if I could have had him sign it oh, and I could have used it like an oxygen mask? It would have been sitting great. right there. Yeah. Scotty would have had it. Uh. Uh, I mean, I would have. <laughs> I'd have put it in front of JP. He'd actually appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Uh, I do remember with the uh, wind surge one game, there was a kid throwing out a first pitch, and Ed, who used to do the photography, would get like uh, right closer than he should have been, I believe, would get right behind the plate uh, as the guy's catching it, and the kid fucking sailed it and hit Ed right in the fucking <laughs> forehead and split him open. Oh, 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 I'm, oh, yeah, right in the fucking top of the head, and Ed's bald. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, it yeah, it fucking split him open. He was bleeding. I haven't seen Ed that close all year. This season. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, he's just trying to get a good picture, you know, for the family and shit. And yeah. Can't throw it, and yeah, just wham. Yep. Ah, uh, that's good stuff. All right, and then moving on to football, obviously I'm going to mention uh, Jared Goff gets a four-year extension, $212 million. Um, I didn't realize uh, how good he is, and his numbers are actually pretty damn impressive. I love Jared Goff. I think he's a great person, but he just doesn't look like, you know, the uh, – Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady s kind of type to be the second highest paid quarterback in the NFL. I don't think he gives a fuck what you think. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> I think I love him. Don't get me wrong, I love him. But uh, but yeah, yeah I, I think it's safe to say that the Detroit Lions won that trade with the uh, with the Rams because the next uh, couple of picks I think that came with it was uh, Aiden Hutchinson. Uh, Swift and then Shamir Gibbs. I believe. Swift, the running back for the Bears. Uh, yeah, he, okay. yeah, we traded him away. Yeah, so, uh, so there was that, and then uh, it hasn't released as we're recording. So also, the, my nickname in high school, Swift. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was was not about your foot speed. That oh was, yeah, I oh ran, it had I, to yeah, have been you yeah, jacking I ran off. Or I ran track. Oh sure, sure you did. <laughs> he did. He was either water very boy. slowly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was handing out water. I still hold two state records. <laughs> oh, yeah? What mm -hmm. were they? Huh? Fastest mile. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And fastest five mile. Oh. Cross country there. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't believe you. Uh, <laughs> You're so full of shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's okay. no chance. On a okay. bike, maybe? No. Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> he he acted like he was in a wheelchair, so he's just rolling his what's Something going happened. off. Something Keep thinking. Uh-huh. Uh, he and, fucking got a car halfway and fucking <laughs> he jumped out. Jumped out later. Yeah. Uh, the NFL season to kick off. Uh, they did announce this game at least. Baltimore at Kansas City Thursday, September the fifth. God, I hope Baltimore just destroys them. I do too. I don't think it's going to happen. Though. I'm sure it won't. No, we're not that lucky. We can't be that lucky. Uh, but it, but I guess uh, Wednesday. So the day that this episode comes out, they will actually release the entire schedule. Uh, so, yeah, be on the lookout for that. I did see that the first Monday night game is fucking Aaron Rodgers again. <laughs> yep. And how poetic would it be if it happened again? Yeah. Dude. I think it would oh, be hilarious. That would be awesome. Dude, and it, I you couldn't it to be make me. my boner go away. <laughs> you couldn't. You couldn't. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't hate Aaron Rodgers like oh, you do. I do. But it would definitely be hilarious. And, it, and I hope it's not the same leg. I hope it's the, the other, other one. one that's, no. Yes. I kind of hope it's both. Okay. Well, I mean, both would be <laughs> yeah. great. No, I think it should be the other leg, yes. and then I think he should rehab it all over again, and, and then it. year three, it's both. It's both. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let him be the Tariq Cohen of the NFL. <laughs> yes. Uh, but they did announce... Um, the Dallas Cowboys and Cleveland Browns game week one will be uh, Tom Brady's Fox Sports broadcasting debut. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, tune in for that. 
I mean, he was funny on his roast. I thought he was I fantastic. Th- I thought he did great. But, man, I don't know if that guy can move his facial muscles. <laughs> Dude, right? <laughs> it was just... <laughs> yeah. Well, well let me tell you about Rar Craft. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens, man, when you go to a vegan diet. Son of a bi- I don't think that's a vegan diet. No, I that's think that's Botox. Botox. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fair yeah. Son of a bitch. Uh, probably my favorite thing that happened in the NFL is Tyreek Hill has a excellent sense of humor. Two things. I saw he was filling up w- uh, with gas at a uh, gas station, and somebody who didn't recognize him, he, he's driving his Lamborghini, gets out and goes, hey, man, what do you do to, to drive such a cool car? And he goes, I'm a plumber. <laughs> and then just gets into the car. And then just gets in. Yeah, it's fucking great. He's got laughs. But the other thing that he did was he um, he has a camp that he throws every single year. And he actually tried to go undercover at his own camp. He got professional makeup artists, and they made him look like a fat kid. And he had like a high school sweater because they're all high school kids. But my favorite part is you have to like either wear name tags or they have to know your name. And his name was Desquarius Green Jr. from the Key and Peel fucking skit. It was fucking great. Uh, but if you haven't seen that, look that up. Uh, it's pretty funny. They did a pretty damn good job. He looked. He did not look like himself. Did he take off running fast as fuck? I think then, so. Yeah. yeah. They they didn't show all of the video. That was like footage. me in cross country. That's, that's yeah, what it was. exactly like that. Yeah, you Dar- betcha. Derek's gonna go back to Illinois, dress him up in a fat suit. Oh, never, <laughs> never mind. Uh, anyways, that is the headlines I got. Unless you guys have anything else that you wanted to bring up. Nope. Cool. Nope. Not that I can think Sounds of. Sounds good. All right. We're moving on from headlines, and we're going to go to the fun parts. We're going to go to Never Have I Ever. Guys, thank you so much. You did a great job on Monday Mom Day. Uh, so, yeah, uh, hats off to all you people who had some good ones. I, I want to do a, a, a Father's Day thing for Mother's Day. I just want to wish all the single dads whose <laughs> uh, baby mamas ain't shit a happy <laughs> Mother's Day. Okay. Sounds good. Good, good on you. Uh, first one, uh, for never have I That's ever. what they fucking do, the, the fucking, yeah. Okay. I know. Every father, all the single moms whose daddy ain't shit. Yeah, that's true. Uh, first one comes in from Brian Scott. He wants to know, never have I ever puked on a roller coaster? Never. Nope. No, never. Me mm. neither. No. Mm. Thanks, Brian. Great yeah. question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did take a shit on the Ferris wheel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <you> right. <laughs> Probably. No. Okay. No. I mean, it sounds like something it you would do. It does kind of sound like something you would do. Yeah, it sounds like something you would do. Uh, I might oh. now. I'd If somebody in, in, around me threw up, I would, though. I would puke. Uh-oh. J- JP. So, <laughs> what? Like, ding. You got me. Uh, Does that happen at gay Disney? I, uh, like, when I'm driving around, uh-huh. I'm always high, and I'm always carrying shit on me. So I have a habit of listening to the police scanners. So that I know if they're fucking like running radar or something, I can fucking not get. So like fucking. green Chevy Cruz. Right, right. I'm out of there. No. But anyway, some homeless person went to a business and I cannot remember the name of the business now, but it was downtown and took a shit in the middle of the floor and then used the shirts that they were selling to wipe their ass <laughs> and then just left. <laughs> and. So the dispatcher gets on and she's like, hey, I've still got this call holding from whatever business and I don't remember which one it was. Uh, It's been on the board for three and a half, four hours. Uh, Is there (laughs) some way we can clear this? And uh, the sergeant comes back and he goes, what's the call? (laughs) She just just (laughs) like, a homeless person went into the business, defecated in the middle of the floor and then used the souvenir t-shirts to wipe their ass and then left the premises. And the guy goes, that was three and a half hours ago. She's like, yes, sir. He's like, they're probably gone now. Nora won. (laughs) We'll get to it later. (laughs) That's awesome. I was just like, dude, that's amazing. That's great. That's awesome. (laughs) You know, they say all good criminals return to the scene of the crime. Yeah, yeah, right. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Do I know you? Nope. Nope. (laughs) Just minding my own business. You guys, uh, you guys have any mediums? Yeah. yeah. I only wipe my ass with mediums. Oh, Jesus. What's the uh, cotton poly blend on this? (laughs) I don't want to scratch anything. Uh, Next one comes in from Christian George. He wants to know, never have I ever gotten so drunk I slept outside. 
we're from Kansas. We call that camping. Yeah, I was just getting ready to say. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, and, and I we, have. We don't have a whole lot to do in this part of the the country, so uh, some of us do it on the regular. Only we're sober. Uh, but uh, in all seriousness, yes, I have gotten way too drunk and went face first into a rose bush at a party when I was in high school, and they found me by my ringtone on my phone, which was the Mario song. Do 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 do. Yeah, that's so. not how that song goes, Scott. Okay, I'm not gonna do it, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they find me by the Mario song. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> Screet dee 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 dee. That one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey yo. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's my answer. How about you, Derek? Uh, kind of. Ooh, what'd I, you do? I've passed out by fire pits before. Oh yeah. I've done that. No. That's kind of camping still. Not in your own backyard. It's not. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. But, uh, and I also did uh, pass out in my own backyard, not by a fire pit, <laughs> where I had drank uh, almost an entire bottle of tequila. And I just, if I moved my finger, I was going to vomit. <laughs> so I didn't stay uh, still. I had to just stay still. It was like freeze tag. <laughs> and my buddy come out, and I don't know how he saw me. And, I don't know how he saw and, me. And, he, and he's like, "You gotta, you gotta, you can't sleep out here." And I was like, "Yeah, I can't. It's like a camp out." <laughs> and he goes, "No, you gotta get up." And I'm like, "No." And then he shoved my chair over, <laughs> and I almost puked. <laughs> Everywhere, <laughs> I got into bed. I was ha- I was at a party. I was throwing. Uh, everybody was still there. Uh, two oh, people. Great. I was gonna go in and puke, but two people were fucking in the bathroom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and uh, I, I finally was able to uh, fall asleep, thankfully, on my stomach. <laughs> um, and, oh. Yeah. Wow. So I, yeah, I have. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. JP. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Drunk or high? Drunk. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That, but like that's bonfires and sleeping outside. The only bad thing about sleeping outside when you're passed out and you're not in a tent, a bug bites the next morning. Those suck. Oh yeah. yeah. So I've I, I I've never passed out and slept outside. I've slept in my car in a ditch once. Mm-hmm, done that too. Woke up, was in the ditch. Bug was like, oh well, we never made it home last <laughs> night apparently. <laughs> and then one, I remember one time we were coming home from Winfield Lake and got completely lost and just pulled off on a county road and fucking it's like I'm got to go to sleep. Yeah. Fucking, no, yeah. But I've never passed out like outside. 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 Yeah. yeah. I also got drunk and passed out on the subway in Chicago before. Oh. Too. Yeah. Oh, that's dangerous. That's I've right. done that too. <laughs> <laughs> or was I? <laughs> yeah. uh, I I passed out on a boat. I was the only one on the boat, and the anchor uh, somehow got disconnected. I probably untied it because I'm an idiot. Uh, but I found myself on the other side of the lake, hmm. only one in the boat, and I, I had like too fif- bad you were in the ocean. Fifteen missed calls of people trying to find <laughs> me and, and the, the boat. boat. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Uh, all right. Next one comes in from Braxton Lint. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever seen a deer or another animal get hit by a semi. Uh, that would be glorious. Yeah, that would be pretty dope. I ain't going to lie. Uh, but no, I have not. I was on a, I haven't seen a, an animal get hit by a semi, but I have seen a cat get hit in real time. Ooh. And I did not get a second date. <laughs> uh, oh, no. I, I do not like cats. Uh-huh. Uh, so I aim. Yeah. Um, I was on, oh, actually, uh, me and a girl I was dating, I was like in high Psychopath school. Psychopath. Right out of high for school. For sure. He caught it with the door, dude. He like. I wasn't driving. <laughs> I was. <laughs> yeah, he was the passenger. You I was, did? No, I was, with a, I was with a girl and we were. Like I was over at her house and she wanted to go just walk around the neighborhood, so we did. And, oh, you, yep, yeah, okay. And I see this fucking cat. This car comes <clears throat> and this fucking just boom. Yeah. And I see this cat go way up in the air, <laughs> and then I see it fucking land, and it just got like one paw out, like help, ah! and then the paw kind of goes down, and ah. she's mortified. I'm laughing. <laughs> That's and terrible. I remember she's this. Like, and I'm allergic to cats. So that's yeah. why I don't like. And she's like, we can't just leave it in the middle of the road. I'm like, I think he's going to be okay. <laughs> she's like, He's got at least one more life left. Yeah. Oh. She's like, no. So I remember uh, she went and got a rake. Oh. And uh, I made a goal in a storm drain. So oh, <laughs> that was man. Uh, 
Yep. I don't like cats either, but I'm not that cruel. That happened. I didn't hit it. I know. I just buried it at sea. Okay. That's good. How about you, JP? Nope. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I We have deer everywhere here. Mm. I have never hit a yeah, deer. Yeah, me neither. Never. I mean, I keep my eyes peeled for them, and we cross the state Man, when I bit, used to, when I worked in Hutch, driving back and forth from Hutch. Oh, they're would, bad up dude, north. Dude, so bad. They're I would bad. see three or four uh, every time yep. I went. Especially when it's in the rut. On the highway, I'm doing mm-hmm. fucking 90 mile an hour. Oh, I'm yeah. like, oh, I hope when I'm done, come out in front of me. Yep. Uh, I've almost, like, if, like, to the point where if I would have left my house, like, Five seconds earlier, I remember driving to Kansas City, and the son of a bitch hopped over the median, Ooh. and I was in the left lane, and he, I barely missed him. Yeah. I was like, fuck, man, if I would have been going a half a mile an hour faster, right, I'd have right. fucking clipped him. Oh, I wish you were. I know, me too, man. I wouldn't have to be From here. now on, I need you to drive an extra half a mile an hour. <laughs> I have faster. ever since. I ever learned since. my lesson. Yeah, yeah. Okay. smart. Mm-hmm. Uh, next too. one also. I live my life yeah. an extra half a mile an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next one also comes in from Braxton Lynn. He's got two this uh, this week. He wants to know, never have I ever blown an engine. He means the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not a Native American. That's racist, JP. <laughs> I was like, I've blown a lot of engines. <laughs> uh, I... I this is what I do for a living. I see this shit on a daily basis, but no, I have never actual like blown an engine myself. I still have seen some of the craziest shit come through the door though. Like bad. Yeah, but no, I've never done it myself. Derek. Uh, kind of. Yeah. My first car yeah. I, I had for like all of two weeks. Was this the one you put two trannies in? No, okay. no. <laughs> Uh, that, that was, in the back seat. Yeah. <laughs> that was in the trunk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh God. Yeah. And I put good. three transmissions in. Oh. Uh, but uh, no, uh, my very first car, uh, I, my mom got it. Uh, it was like inheritance money. I got it all stolen from me. Mm. Um, so she felt bad and bought me like this, this piece of shit. And uh, like two weeks in, I just start hearing... Oh, yeah. It was That's, a fucking rod. Yeah, oh, yeah. threw a rod. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah. Uh, kind of, yes, but kind it really of, wasn't that, my fault. That's, that's, yeah. That's, I didn't even have the title for it yet. Oh, <laughs> like, God. Yeah. And, oh, that's bad. Yeah. JP? Yep. You sure did? Yep. Which What, what kind of car? 86 Delta 88. Whoa, and those things are kind of bulletproof, bro. <laughs> oh, did we put some miles on that motherfucker. Good job. So, and one day at the gas station, I filled up with the gas, and I tried to start it, and it went, roo, 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 poof. <laughs> and I was like, well, that's the end of that. And we pushed it over and by the air pump, and uh, I never saw it again. See, yeah. my cynical ass would have been like, you couldn't have done this before I filled you up, up with gas. Right. Oh, That's right, what I yeah. was thinking, too. <laughs> you motherfucker. I, I, every once in a while, I tell a story about a good friend of mine uh, that uh, it was a crazy motherfucker. His name is Ben Morgan, and uh, he's the guy that fell out of my truck going like 60 down a dirt yeah. road. Um, he did he blew- live to tell the tale? He yes, did. he did. Nice. He did. Um, he uh, One time, he, got, he had like a really nice Chevy Silverado truck. It was a 1500 full-wheel drive. It was awesome. They just put a transmission in the truck, and it was the very first night that he had it. And he was doing donuts in the Slumberland parking lot and ran no, that son of a bitch into a phone a pole. Phone pole. You told <laughs> and me about then that. went and hid <sighs> at the local IHOP for me to come and pick him up so he didn't get arrested for DUI. Nice. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, different way to blow an engine, though. Right. Anyways, uh, last one comes in from somebody on Instagram named... Totally radical Venus flytrap. Okay. I didn't know you could have that many characters. I, in there. I didn't either, but whatever. Uh, but uh, let's see. TRVF, that's going to be your name. Uh, he, whoever wants to know, never have I ever sat outside and watched as a tornado passed by your house. 100%. Well, I mean, defined by my house because when the one went through Andover, Oh, yeah. I lived in Rose Hill, and our backyard, we just literally sat in our backyard and fucking watched, watched it, it tear the shit out of mm-hmm. Andover. I think if you can see the fucking funnel, then that counts. Oh, well, you could see it. You could oh, see yeah. the trailer houses floating around it. We saw a cow. Oh. Yeah, it was pretty fucking cool. That was the movie Twister. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. Uh, it was definitely not the movies. I think I've I think I've seen it three times. Here. I've seen a tornado uh, once at the lake, and we were in a, like, a 70s Winnebago. And then twice, once at a um, like a track meet, and then once uh, by by my house. Yeah, yeah. 
So we call that twister hunting. Yeah, twister yeah. hunting. <laughs> um, funny enough, I was a twister hunter. Uh, yeah, I storm chase for cake. For really? Many, many years. Oh, I do all sorts of things for dream cake. Job. I love it. It's yeah. delicious. Fucking dream job. It was dude. a lot of fun. And the closest I ever came is we actually got, we we're out on a fucking county road out in like northeast fucking BFE, Kansas. Mm -hmm. And we stopped and I had to take a piss and we were just kind of hanging out and we were smoking a cigarette or whatever. And then Jay came on the radio and he was like, hey, where are you guys at again? And Jared told him and he's like, yeah. The tornado is like a quarter mile to your north. You probably ought to get out of there. <laughs> was it and dark? Just then, yeah, it was. Oh, it was already. It was like just getting dark anyway. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing you know, the fucking debris field is just like on us. I mean, Jesus and Christ. I jump in the fucking truck. We hit it in reverse. Oh, dude, it was it was awesome. But yeah. we were we were less than a quarter mile away from it at that point. Yeah. And yeah, that was scary as fuck. I think like one of the coolest things, at least people from the Midwest. No, like tornadoes. But every a lot of people from outside the Midwest, they are fucking terrified yeah. of those motherfuckers. Yeah. And we're the kind of people that just go out and watch them on our front yeah. yard. Uh, but anyways, that was Never Have I Ever. Thank you guys for that. Uh, now we get to move on to That's Where I Draw the Line. That is JP's favorite part of every single episode. We're going to kick this off with Brian Scott again. He had a good episode, I think. Uh, but he yeah, his first question he, was a fucking real banger. Hey, man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, this one's going to be good. Uh, Sometimes I think these are confessions that other people <laughs> yeah, have done. Yes. Yeah, right. Like, oh, he's like, just make me feel better right. in front of you. 100%. Done it. Yeah. Uh, but Brian wants to know, uh, where do you draw the line? How long will you wait to be seen at the ER before you leave and go somewhere else? I suppose it depends on what I'm there for. Yeah, that's a good point. Like if broken leg and you're out there for an hour. Like, no, uh, immediate care. But I think tr they triage here pretty well. Yeah, they, they really do. I've never had a problem. I never have either. Uh, if you have an appointment, you get in reasonable here. And then the other thing is if you have a fucking emergency, the guy that's there to get like cold medication is like get, get this motherfucker in there before yeah. me so i yeah it, it's not a problem here uh derek uh back great when, question brian <laughs> back when i uh didn't have insurance all day oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah right right yeah i don't give a yeah. i don't have insurance you have to see me yeah right <laughs> you have to take care of me yeah did you answer jp Yes. Okay, good. I like to think he just spent a lot of time in the emergency room after he got sick on that roller coaster. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Absolutely. Like, what do you think? <laughs> I got yeah. another question. Never have I ever been fingered watching Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> what if I fingered myself? Uh, well, Does that count? Yeah, probably. Oh, okay. Uh, next yeah. one. I wasn't watching Frozen so much as the dildo was frozen. Oh, got it. All right. Gross. Uh, next one comes in from Nolo Cinco. He wants to wants to know how many times do you have to ask someone for no to actually mean no? According to me, or the state of Utah. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, wow! Because uh, hmm. the state of Utah told me that, <laughs> that it's only one time. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and that's that's the number. If I call you and ask you for something, and you go. Nah. Oh, you're just mean in general. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. then, yeah. Uh, plenty. Uh, I would say. How many? How many times does your wife have to tell you no before you just <laughs> you go? Okay, she really means it. <laughs> uh, well, uh, how drunk is she? <laughs> <laughs> Because sometimes she says no, yeah. But when she passes out, she yeah. says yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. How drunk yeah. is she? If she's sleeping on her stomach, that's a maybe. That's a maybe. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jesus. No. Wow. No means no. No one time means fucking no. Yeah, I think I think twice. Hey, that's Derek, where I draw Derek, the line. Derek, I'm getting ready to move. Can you come over and help me? No. All right, man. I appreciate it. That's why I sold my truck. Yeah. <laughs> God, no means no. Okay. To pay for that attorney. Uh-huh. Uh, next one comes in from Braxton Lint. Uh, he wants to know how young. You got a real hard on for Braxton Lint this time. Do I? This is his third one. It, no, yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, Braxton wants to know how young is too young to lose your virginity? JP. Okay, man. <laughs> You're obviously trying to get me arrested. Yeah, but I'm not gonna him. stand for it. Dude. I'm not waiting around here for the cops. I know where this is going. Yeah. Dude, that bush is a man. That's a real human. So yeah. go out the back. I'm talking about you. 
like like I mean, I I was eighteen, and I think that's that's good. And how old was she? Like thirteen? Uh, no, no, eleven. Uh, no, eight. No, four. I no. You I pl- sick bastard! I plead the fifth. I can't incriminate me. My fourteen? No, she fifteen. Won't. That's she, what I she, say. We were both in high school. She was a year younger. I say fourteen or fifteen. That's way too. That, that's, that's pretty young. That's young, man. I could. I, I think it happens that. more than you think. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Uh, like one of my friends is a fucking school counselor at. Can I say the school? Yeah, I'll say the school. Andover, and uh, oh, they're all fucking in Andover. They're middle school kids, and they are getting caught fucking at wow, school. No at way. At school. Well, the wow. tornado fucking ripped their house out. What do you <laughs> right, want them to do? Yeah. That's they true. Do something. Yeah. But God damn it. Yeah. No. If, if I mean seventeen or eighteen, I, I wanted to wait till I was eighteen just in case some shit happened. But I wanted to wait till I was eighteen too. But my uncle had other ideas. <laughs> 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 right. Uh, Derek, um, Derek, how about you? And I wanted to wait till I was fourteen, but um, <laughs> I, uh, I would say too young to lose it. Uh, under sixteen, yeah. I would that, say if you're sixteen, that's you can drive, you can fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like <laughs> oh, just now, if you're gonna lose it to somebody over the age of eighteen, right, that's what I said. Fourteen or fifteen is too young. Yeah, so I'm if, with you on yeah, that. So now, sixteen or older. Yeah. Now, but 16, if you're sixteen and you're with anybody older than I would say eighteen, then it's gross. Yeah, that I agree. Yeah. Yeah, they Me call too. they call that something statutory. I know rape. what yeah. they call yeah. it. <laughs> they call it child hunting. Yeah. They call it child hunting. <laughs> God, damn and it, it is way harder than opals. Uh, <laughs> oh my God! Uh, Some yeah. of the child hunters do live underground. That's true. Oh God, that is true. Uh, next one comes in from William Payne. He wants to know how many streaming services is too many. <laughs> It's I don't even so know how many I hard, have, man. dude. I really, honest to God, if if then you had to nail many. me down, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. However many I got, that's how many is too much because I really don't know how many I have. The fucked up thing and is, and I just is, keep getting more. Yeah, they they end up each one of them has like a good show that comes or, out that yeah, you gotta right watch, now. and then yeah. it's like, all right, I'm gonna cancel uh, Apple, but it's like, oh fuck, uh, they're coming out with this next month. It's, yeah. I can't cancel it. Now. I can't wait for people to be like, man, they got this new thing now where like there's just stuff on all the time, all the time, <laughs> and you get like all the services. You get HBO, ESPN, you get all the local stuff. Yeah, you get, yeah, cable. cable cable motherfucker <laughs> yeah that's what's got it's coming back yeah but this is how much us as a society hates commercials this is what it is well we're getting them back though like amazon's, amazon's putting them in putting netflix them in now, is put them in bullshit i didn't know about netflix yeah you can have a lower tier with commercials on netflix okay well i'm not uh, hulu's I'm, got them everywhere's got them that's so fucking stupid ah Roku that, is going to have live ads playing on the fucking menu screen oh you can kiss my yeah. ass i'm out uh but yeah I don't. I don't know how many. I'm gonna say five. Okay. Because oh if, you, if you have Netflix, I wish I'm I had big, five. I, yeah. Dude, I would bet. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If, I figure, got double that easy. You figure if you have Netflix, <clears throat> you have Amazon. Amazon, which does. I don't even think people do that for streaming. Yes. I think that's for Prime for the shipping no. and shit. But they have Lord of the Rings. They, I, they, I do so. it for the streaming. You do it just for the streaming, not yeah. for the delivery? I don't, well, you I don't give money, a shit about so it. Yeah, right. Yeah, you um, gotta so. have money to buy shit. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> like, like a Hulu or something like that. I got Hulu. ESPN. Oh, I didn't even count that one. Fuck. Got it. MLB. NHL. If you want to go that route. Red Zone for NFL. Okay. Yeah, see, I have, see where we're going with this? I have Netflix, ESPN, Hulu, Apple. Uh, I've got Apple. P, or Prime. I've got Prime. Or not, uh, not, I got Prime and I got, uh, what's the other one? Paramount. I got Max. I've got Paramount. I got Max and Peacock. And the only I've reason why Peacock. I have Peacock is because of that fucking. Because you're trying pl- to max it out. No, it's from that fucking playoff game that I still have yet to cancel that son of a bitch. Dude, yet. I only have it for The Office. Uh, well, and I bought all The Office. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so mm-hmm. I don't need to. Hmm. Uh, that's a good question there, William, because we don't have an answer for you. Uh, next one, last one, comes in from Wayne Fr- uh, Fargnoli. Yeah, I just pronounced it. Wayne Fargnoli. He's been on here before. He has. He wants to know, how far is too far when taunting the opposing team's fans? Let me tell you something. There is no such thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I, I am no. a hater like a motherfucker, and I will go and go. I won't stop. This I don't is, think there's too far. This is true for Derek, but I think there is even a line that you and I both will not cross. No, there's not. Because when Wilson Contreras broke his arm yeah. on J.D. Martinez's swing, the first thing I said is I'm going to have to get a JT, J.D. Martinez jersey. <laughs> oh, my God. 
But no, it's like, I, I don't think you attack the individual, if that makes sense. You don't attack them unless they're like fat. Like or their ugly. race? Yes. Because that seems like something you would do. I No, of course not. But like, <laughs> I, I'm what I'm saying is attack them as a team, like of how shitty your yeah, team is. Okay. But don't attack them good, uh, as, an in, as an individual unless they're ugly or fat. Then you can go for that. That's easy. I right? just mean like trolling the, the fans, like for the team, like making yeah. fun of the team, telling oh. them their team's shit. Right. Yeah. Nonstop yeah. letting them have it. Nothing to do physically, just about the fucking team and being a fan. Okay. Yeah. All I right. think when you start throwing shit, at them when you make I it personal it's then that's, <laughs> right. yeah right. <laughs> when jp pulls out a gun right that's whenever it's gone it's too gone far too far it's gone too far all right ladies and gentlemen well, that's where that's uh that's that's where i draw the line jesus i can't talk thank you guys very much <laughs> i was i was with brian at a fucking uh royals tigers game and he let Cabr- he let miguel cabrera fucking have it <sighs> and, I and we were Miggy. we were right like front row behind third base so Miggy's playing third, and Brian's just fucking letting him have it. Miguel's kind of reacting to it, and that was a year after he won his triple crown. Well, like a year later, we go to another game, and it's against the Tigers, and he's letting Cabrera have it. <laughs> he's like, Cabrera, that's all you, dog, fucking yelling loud as shit. And finally, this fucking like nine-year-old kid, you hear him behind Brian go, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking lost it. Brian, shut up. And he's like, man, I just got checked by fucking Brian. <laughs> Did somebody tell you to shut the fuck up when you were giving on poo hole shit? No. Oh no. I think I had people laughing. <laughs> I was so drunk. Yeah. I was the that was the one time I've been like that drunk and obnoxious at a sporting event. Okay. And it was and there was nobody there. So well, you could fair. hear it bounce off the outfield wall <laughs> back <laughs> to me. You nice. don't know this story, but Derek told me which game that was. So I went in to watch that game to yeah. try and hear him. And you can hear him, but you can definitely tell like later, because I tried to pull it up at a later date day and they edited it him so you out so you it. couldn't that's hear funny. him that's funny it's fucking hilarious <laughs> such a dick <laughs> but now we get to move on to questions and preguntas uh yeah we're gonna kick this one off with one that i found and uh derek liked it so we're gonna go with that uh and it is phrases only white people say i have an excellent credit score <laughs> <laughs> cop let me off with the warning yeah <laughs> Derek, newsflash buddy <laughs> News flash. Jeez. when are you gonna mow your lawn <laughs> oh fuck did you watch the office last night <laughs> <laughs> hey that's not true that is not true black people love the office that's true man. my uh, best friend loves the office and that ain't no bullshit uh, but uh-huh. yeah anyways uh let's see <laughs> Listen Dude, here. <laughs> I'm going to get in so much trouble right now because of what I want to say. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Thank God. You're welcome. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, drats <laughs> or something like that. When, when you go to the register and something doesn't ring up, guess that means it's free. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, shit. Or when you go into a restaurant. And like you sit at a table and you're leaving it, it's full. And you're like, it oh, looks like we came at the right time. Oh God. All shit. I've said <laughs> <laughs> anything else for you, sir. Yeah. I'll take the winning lottery ticket. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just the lot of them. How are you living the dream? Living the dream. <laughs> uh, uh, how are you today? Uh, Sp- just another day. Spaghetti's uh, better the second day. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, who wants casserole? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Oh. Uh, I like to put raisins in my potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, next one. This is too spicy. <laughs> this yeah. is too spicy? Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Next one comes in from Andrew Bingham. He wants to know things that sucked as a kid but are awesome as an adult. I've already said it. Anal sex. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting all day to say that. <laughs> I could, when you said we weren't doing all the questions, I was like, I sure hope we're doing that one. I already got my answer. <laughs> Oh, I'm not making a clip of that one. <laughs> Why not? Because <laughs> that'll get taken down pretty quick. Uh, uh, I, I said it earlier, and that is like just being able to do nothing. 
like as a kid you get bored and, yeah, and right. you, you can't yeah, sit that's still true. but as an adult it's like your recovery period so i'm gonna go with nothing mm. Derek, obviously napping's the easy one. Yeah, but uh, I'm gonna go with having more than one topping on pizza. Oh, like okay. As a kid, like I, I, I just wanted like pepperoni only or sauce. Now oh, I'm yeah. like throw throw all that shit on there. Yeah, that ve- uh, vegetables. Believe it or not, uh, as That's a kid, true. we're fucking gross. Like mushrooms, I fucking love mushrooms. Yeah, I true. would not touch those as a kid. Me too. I know you were coming with that. <laughs> Literally. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh great yeah i think i had the best answer on that one i think you did too uh next one comes in from william morrow he wants to know if you could bring back any food or drink that was discontinued what would it be doritos 3ds those were horrible i liked them they're bad my other one's stupid too what yeah. is it when I was in high school, they had Snapple came out with uh, a drink, and it was they were all called the Elements, and so yeah, yeah. it was rain. Dude, so they, they came out with they came out with them again. Oh, really? Way different. Oh, hmm. No, they don't have the same like preservatives and things that kill you right. anymore. Yeah, it There's the not same. enough antifreeze. I, right, I want right. I want the I want original. It to taste the same. I want yeah. it to fucking so kill me. I got one. They came out like Surge, the soda Surge, yeah. but they did come. It did come back. Did it really? Yeah, but I don't think it lasted very long. Well. Um, fruit stripe gum. Ooh, dude, that no, that it was last, good for like two seconds, two, and you exactly. had to throw it out and get a new one, but it, it was still good. Yeah, uh, I mean, Dunkaroo. Cheeto paws. Oh, I remember those. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, they yeah. were fucking good. They came back out with those too. They suck. Yeah, see, they're, to the see they're different because they, they fuck them up. Yeah, because they don't fucking just blast them with fucking yeah junk. Yeah, yeah. they're I'm like sure we're th- trying to be healthier. Do they still fuck have you? Do they still have push pops? Uh, in some know. form or other, I'm like, sure they and do. then the ice cream ones that yeah, l- yeah. were like for um, like the Flintstones on them and shit. Yeah, like I that. yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. They My do. wife said that uh, Freddy's has like a thing now. Uh, it's their new limited menu thing, okay. and it's a uh, orange like creamsicle orange thing. Creamsicle, and she says it tastes yeah. just like a fucking push pop. Fuck yeah, yeah. I'm in. Uh, How about you, Derek? I will say. There used to be a thing from Dairy Queen that I used to get. It was called a Smorgalore Parfait. Jesus and that Christ. motherfucker was my joint, and it's long gone. Derek's favorite thing in the world is s'mores. Fucking A. It's true. And <clears throat> that was the shit. That, I would say... Uh, Dude, s'more cereal is fucking good. Yeah, it was. Uh, it, it still is. They brought back Waffle Crisp. Oh, yeah. And it's still just as good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, next one comes in from Sam Killian. Uh, he wants to know... What are the worst things to do or say when someone says, I love you? I got a story for this one. That's what my story (laughs) was. say thanks. (laughs) That's pretty bad. You you said it on the show before. Did I? Yeah, Yeah. you did. Oh, man. But you could tell it. Tell it again. We got new listeners, bitch. Yeah, I'm sure we do. Uh, (laughs) My my wife went to tell me that for the first time. She said she's like, hey, she come home from work on New Year's Eve and was like, I got something to tell you. We were dating, and I was like, you're not fucking pregnant, are you? <laughs> and she's like, no. And I go, oh, what's going on? She's like, I love you. And I was like, oh. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, you're the worst. Oh, dude, it was fucking horrible. Uh, I, I think like the backhanded compliment is just a little bit worse. Oh, that makes me feel so good. Oh, that's pretty bad. That's yeah. bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's just the, oh, The worst man. is I love you too as a friend. <laughs> Oh, I love you like a brother. Uh, uh, I just got friend zoned. Yep. That's I nice. love you. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's oh, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. All right. I love me too. <laughs> yes, you do. And last one, Braxton Lent with a fucking four banger. Uh he wants to know fitting punishments other than prison for your crimes. Four bangers. Four bangers? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All at the same time. Um, um, worse than prison? <clears throat> no, oh, just other. Just other. Other than prison. Fitting punishments other than prison for Pri- crimes. You know, the, 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 the I don't know, um, the old adults that like children, I think prison needs to hang around because they know what to do with them when they get in there. You know what I mean? They don't last very long in there. So I'd, I'd leave that one alone. Uh, but, uh, you know... Let's just go back to the old west. If you cheat at poker, they cut your fucking hand off. I think that'd be all right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Okay. How about you, JP? Yeah, I'm with you, man. Okay. That's you bet. That's good. There. 
I like to think if they're like, I find the defendant guilty and I sentence you to three years of shaving Lizzo's back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. that's gross. Right? Oh, With the same the s- razor. You will never shoplift again. Oh, no. That is it. No, that's bad. Scared straight. You, yeah. could, get the, you could get the like the kids in on the program, make yeah, them shave true. her back. You know? It'd yeah. probably take four or five of them, but. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to do one more question. Cause I like this one. Okay. Mm. I'm going to go with Mason Lind and he wants to know what two sports do you wish you could combine water? Okay. And I don't know. Okay. Um, I, I said, I, I have this affinity apparently with darts now. So I said darts and pole vaulting. And as the competitors, you can sit there and throw darts at the motherfucker when he's up in the air. I think that'd be fucking awesome. So that's mine. Derek? A couple. You could you could do like water polo, but with real horses. <laughs> that's cool. I like that. yeah. That's good. I mean, have, that's, that's tough. That is tough. They have those fucking... <laughs> the horses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. They gallop a lot slower. <laughs> they, they sure it's, do. It's definitely a lot slower of a game. But they can touch the I bottom. like that, dude. I do like I that. I like that one. And I've really always wanted to see the World Series of Indian Poker. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where they're just like, all right. Oh, they're like, okay, well, looks Native, like- uh, Native American poker. No, Indian oh, he's poker. got the aces. He doesn't know it. He's got the aces. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh man. Oh, he's going all in on a bluff. Yeah. Bill Helmuth doesn't know he has the four of hearts on his forehead and he's shoving that all would, in against Phil Hyde's ace of spades. That would be funny. And I want to hear Norman Chad commentate the whole thing. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was questions and preguntas. Thank you very much for participating in Monday, Mom Day. Keep your eyes peeled for Monday, Friday this week. Uh, yeah, and um, no, I guess I wanted to say something. Obviously, we love the inside jokes, other than fun. But if you really want to have a suggestion, just imagine throwing a softball to some some comedians. That's how your question will get picked most of the time. Uh, but now we get to move on. <laughs> Have you ever puked on a roller coaster? <laughs> My wife texted me. I like that question. I'm actually. sure you did. I just texted Jeremy Joseph a little bit ago. My wife texted me. Uh, she is in Indiana right now and just texts me a picture of the elevator and says, uh, I feel safe. And it's an Otis, Otis elevator. <laughs> it's an Otis elevator. So I sent nice. it to Jeremy and he just sent back, I bet that hotel has a Nordic track in the fitness center. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if you could have fucking been there when that happened. <laughs> I would have lost it. Uh, from now on, I think I only want a vacation with Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> he wouldn't let me. Um, no. But anyways, now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. And uh, Jeremy won, but I won by a technicality. Yay, Scotty. Boom. I had the best Fuck list. You. I had the best list, the most loving fucking dogs on the face of the planet. And and everybody was just like, Scotty had the better list, but we like Jeremy more. And it's yeah. like, come on. Yeah, that's the not the point. That's not how life goes, Scotty. <sighs> but anyway, you got to give you. Jeremy the win. You got to learn a lesson. I guess so. Be yep. cooler. All right, fine. Uh, but uh, so that means that because Jeremy is not here, I get the uh, I, I get the championship picks. Uh, JP gets his favorite, the sandwich picks. Yeah, buddy. And because Derek wasn't here last week, he fucking gets to cheat, and he gets the first overall Jeez. draft pick. Jeez. Draft pick. And this week's draft uh, actually comes in from a listener. Uh, we kind of liked it. I thought it was pretty good. It comes from uh, the serial killer himself, Mark Aaron Deffenbaugh. He wants to know, or he wants us to draft, uh, strange skills or experiences to list on a job application. Just strange things to put on a job application. All right. Uh, Derek, you get number one overall pick. Uh, whittling. <laughs> you can whittle? Yeah. Whittle and wood. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I see here that you type 122 words a minute and you whittle. <laughs> <laughs> good Good for you. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, JP, what do you want to put on there? 
I'm friends with Scotty Gurman. Oh, you're going to get the job. <laughs> yeah. You're going to get the job. <laughs> That's every a reference. Time. Yeah. It's a reference. Yeah. No. All right. I am going to put, <laughs> I am an exceptional uh, weed eater. Okay. All right. Says JP good. gets it from Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. You caught me. Yeah. You caught me. Uh, and then uh, the other one that I'm going to do is let me see. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, if you can't look it up on your phone, you're fucked. Well, I'm trying to do the actual <laughs> things. Well, I'm just <laughs> yeah. saying is I but, love it. I love this. Uh, I love this. Do you wonder why you don't ever win the draft? <laughs> uh, ooh, I I, uh, I can uh, break dance. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, I would like to see that. It's pretty white. I bet it is. <laughs> I bet it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I like that. I, and by that, I mean I can do the worm, kind of. Nice. <laughs> uh, JP, what is, what is your next pick? Um... God, these are tough. See? Strange skills or experiences. I can hold my breath for 30 seconds. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I thought it was something like that. Yeah. I did too. I, I just I forgot. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Derek, you get two in a row. Procrastinating? What, you don't? That's it. No, that I do. I'm oh, a very good procrastinator. Very good, yeah. oh, very good at procrastinating. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think we all do that. And then your next pick. Strong pullout game. Strong pullout game. That's good. <laughs> nice. It. That's good. Yeah. Okay. This is a fun one. I like this All one. All right. Uh, JP, what is your next pick? I can recite the Lion King word for word. <laughs> <laughs> you probably can. I can. Uh, I don't want to take, I don't want to feed off of yours because my next pick was going to be, I have no kids, uh, but that's kind of goes without saying by yeah, looking at you. I, yeah. Um, <laughs> you got to word it my way though. Strong. Pull out. Oh, I'm going to. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm doing that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with, um, I can uh, ride a unicycle. So go there. Crickets. Uh, hey. Crickets. That's a fucking talent, you piece of shit. Uh, I think it's one of these. There it is. There it is. Yeah, that was no, great that's pick. Good. Yeah. Uh, and then my my next pick is I can drive a vehicle very well while drunk. Very good. Yeah, of course you're an dr exceptional drunk driver. Exceptional drunk driver. You definitely driver. want to add that on your application. Yep. So that is mine. Uh, JP, what's your next pick? I live my life in a weed a case. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. And then, Derek, you get your last two picks. <clears throat> fort building. <laughs> you can build forts. Blanket forts. Okay, yeah. Yeah, put blanket fort building. Blanket, blanket fort building. I yeah. will. All right. And then your last overall pick. Please don't do it, dude. I've, I've waited for this. Don't <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> You're the only one that would do it. Uh, let's see. Oh, don't do it. Stealing office supplies. Very good. Okay. All I right. Like <laughs> and then, JP, what is the one you've been waiting for? Opal Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an opal. I, I'm good at hunting opal. Okay. You go down under quite often? Yep. Okay. That's good. Uh, all right. I am going to go with my very last pick, which is a true one. Uh, but dogs love me. Is going to be my last pick. Okay. Not not excited for the strength of, of my particular draft, but I don't I'm going to help you because I know your spelling skills. I'm going to spell Whittle correctly for you. I would look it up, dipshit. You spelled Isle, I S L E. <laughs> <laughs> like, like the Isle at a grocery store? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's wrong. Yeah. You spelled that I S L E. I S L E would be yeah. like the islands. Yeah. Like Isle. Yeah, it said Clearance Isle. And I'm like, wow, what a shitty island to be stuck on. <laughs> Clearance <laughs> Island. Clearance <laughs> Island. <laughs> Dude, all that's in here is fucking off brand Roombas. Uh. <laughs> They're sucking up all the sand. <laughs> 
Uh, he had to look it up to make sure he was a dumbass. <laughs> I did. Yep. I did. Sure enough. I sure did. Yeah. Sure enough. You're a fucking idiot. Yeah. Can, I make my, can I make my last pick? I, I, I can't spell worth a yeah. shit. A, I'll let you change it. Okay. I'm a horrible speller. Yeah. Horrible yeah. speller. Yeah, that's going to be the last pick. Oh, fuck. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen. You don't get a lot of tickets, Scotty. <laughs> I know yeah. what we're saying. It's because yeah. cops don't ticket tards. They sure don't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. You can go and vote to Facebook. Was I speeding? <laughs> Sorry about that, officer. I swear to God, if you could pull it off, Derek probably. That's why. License and registration. <laughs> that's why. As he does his, he does his, uh, his, his uh, Irish accent. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know why I was going so fast. Yeah. Uh, but you can vote for whichever list that you like the best of strange things to put on your job application at facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines, or you can go to uh, Twitter slash X, which is at LOT sidelines, and vote for whoever has the best list of weird things to put on a job application. Damn. I just thought of another one. What you got? Cool butterfly knife trick. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Now, now, you should have got that one because now we got all kinds of stuff coming to my head. Damn it. That, that was, that's a good have one. Have you been drinking, son? Only Capri Suns. <laughs> Uh, but yes, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and JP. <laughs> Fuck you, Derek. No, I'm just kidding. It's it's also brought to you by Derek the Rec Alders as well. Two-time winner of the Wichita's Funniest Person Contest. Yep, yep. and soon to be two-time winner of uh, Wheel of Fortune. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> when does it come into town? Uh, October, I believe. Oh, soon, buddy. You better get ready. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, ladies and gentlemen, we do have an excellent uh, shitty situation for you this week. It is Would You Rather? Oh, I'm sorry. This actually comes in from a listener. This comes in from William Speed. He wants to know Would you rather listen to a Karen yell at you for 30 minutes or listen to a Jehovah Witness for one hour? <sighs> this is not hard for me. Me either. Uh, Super easy. Yeah. I would enjoy the Karen. Right. I would enjoy 100%. the Karen because I don't, I mean, I can snap back, right? Yeah. Uh, the Jehovah's Witness, I don't, I mean, they're. I didn't de- say anything about snapping back. It just they, says they, listen. They, I mean, I, okay, fine. I'll listen for 30 True. minutes and then I'm snapping the well, fuck that's back. That's fine. But uh, the Jehovah's Witness, they are fucking like, they're ballsy. You know what I mean? They got, they're determined they're, yeah. to, to save you. And I don't want to listen to that bullshit. Yep. I'm already a Christian. They used to come to my house every Sunday. I know. And then I answered the door naked and told them I was trying to fuck my boyfriend and what did they want? And I never saw him again. And that's all you got to do, apparently. Yeah. That doesn't work with Karens. (laughs) No. 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 But I I think the Karen would. I think it'd be funny. I'd love it. I would too. I think it's hilarious. I would fucking laugh. They're so stupid. They are dumber than shit. Yeah. And and I think I would I, I would much rather have that than I mean I'd be fucking steaming pissed at the end of it but I just you know and it's less time. What if the Karen was yelling at you about native grass? Then does that change your mind? <laughs> I'd fucking deck that bitch. Yeah, see, mm, mm, I'd I'd listen to her for thirty minutes, but Derek? then she's getting a right hook. Oh, I'm going Jehovah's Witness. Yeah. Are you really? Oh, yeah. Okay. I've got a few Karens I've had to listen to, and about four or five minutes is where I fucking explode. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> no, I'm not going to bitch out. Yeah. 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 Smart. I'm like, uh-uh. And I will just start getting, I, when I get mad, it's bad. True. And uh, I will, uh, so yeah, uh, I'll listen to the Jehovah's Witness, and then. Uh, At least they're polite. Right. For an hour. And then after that hour, he's going to start riding a bicycle and wearing fucking. Uh, oh, yeah. They'll convince him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sold easily. Right. He's definitely, he's definitely. And then I'm coming here and saving you fuckers. Yeah. Now. Right. Exactly. Exactly. I'm like, be- guys, put down your opal. I got some shit to tell you. <laughs> J- JP, you really need to stop sucking dick, man. You're never going to make it to heaven. I've told you that before, and I haven't I even talked to a J- Yeah, and I have <laughs> I never even told you that. I you just know. Yeah, I, yeah, it's a thing. It is a thing. It's fine. 
Uh, but yeah, do we have? I, I know we got baseball for Derek for a lot. Do, do you have any shows coming up that you're aware of? Nope, not for a while. I know. I know. Look at uh, look at Mike dot com. I know um, Mike's got some shows coming out. I know Travis Cagle also has uh, another show that I believe he's going to be a part of as well. Um, but yeah, man, Wichita comedy. That's kind of the thing. Steve Peters uh, as well. Uh, JP, no. I can say it. Okay, yes. Uh, so I'm getting ready to to uh, film a special. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's gonna. It, it, I have a, a Zoom meeting tomorrow with the with the company that's going to produce it. That's and, awesome. Uh, find going to set some final dates and stuff like that. I've got it written. It's done. That's I've, awesome. Uh, it's going to be really good. It's going to be really fun. I'm fucking proud of you. So I've been working on it for like a year. Mm-hmm. Like uh, it's been. A, now I just need to go do some open mics. So it's going to be like a couple months out, but I've, oh, got, sure. to, I've got to go work at it on some op- open mics and stuff like that yeah. and uh, just get off my ass and do it. But, uh, <laughs> Don't yep. procrastinate. But no, it's be done. Lazy. It's written. That's it's good. done. It's it's ready to go. And despite some, you know, there, obviously you know, there, there will be some minor changes here and there, but I think... I'm pretty proud of it. Good. I don't. I don't think there's a whole lot I'm going to have to change as long as it works as good as I think it will. Good. Which usually is it does. Well, that's I mean, good. I'm no. I'm. I'm not fucking Derek Alder. No, I'm going to stretch say, the imagination. No. Yeah, but no, fucking, no. I think I'll be all right. You don't shoot that high. No. No. I'm not, <laughs> no you'll just be disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I'll do this. Aim for the stars, but be happy if you just reach the sky. There you go. Know? Yeah. That's good advice right there. That's right. That's fucking excellent advice. Jesus. Uh, well, thank you very much, Derek. I appreciate you coming on the show. Uh, I really do. I know you're busy, and so I appreciate you taking the time, man. I got shit to do. I what know. About, what about me, man? I'm busy. I wasn't done yet. Oh, okay. Thank you again, other guy. Myself, other guy. Scotty yeah, Gervin. Myself. I got and- nothing else going on. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, But guys, thank you guys very, very much as well. Uh, We sincerely do appreciate it. Keep on doing what you guys do. Uh, We're actually kind of getting a lot more views on Instagram, which depending on what happens with the whole TikTok thing, that might be the direction. Ain't nothing going to happen. The Cubs are fucking killing it. You're probably right. But, um, But yeah, thank you guys very much. If you don't already follow us on the other platforms, please do. Uh, uh, that threads get us on threads. That yeah, helps us check us grow. out on threads, baby. We're not on threads. <laughs> oh, well, you gotta, we gotta get on that. Okay, that's the thing now. Uh, yeah, all right. TikTok's going away. Vine, yeah. check us out on Vine. Vine, yeah, it's gonna come on back. Yeah. Vine was the shit. Okay, yeah. and technically, Twitter I think owns Vine, so mm. hmm, it could happen. Maybe they'll call it Y. Maybe <laughs> they might. Ah, ah, yeah, see what you did there. Yeah. Uh, but guys, keep on doing what you do. Uh, we sincerely do appreciate it. And as we always like to say, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us... We sentence you to three years hard labor shaving Lizzo's back. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us... Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. It's Gillette, the best a man can get. <laughs> <laughs> until next time. Oh, uh, keep laughing at us. We will see y'all later. Take care. <laughs>